I think it's time. Yes, it's time to bring, to bring, to bring history back to life. Cool, it's amazing. Cream of Cats TV. If you like old things, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the like button because it does something very special. It makes you younger. On the southeast coast of England, in this quiet and sleepy town called Hive, people come from all over the country to see one of the most gruesome tourist attractions in Britain. Located in this lovely old church, parts of which are reputed to date back a thousand years to Anglo-Saxon times. This ancient building is named after St. Leonard's, the patron saint of prisoners. As with many churches, there's a graveyard out the back, littered with numerous unreadable gravestones. However, this place of worship is something rather unique in its crypts, which is present in only two churches in the whole of the United Kingdom. And this church is the biggest and best example. The St. Leonard's Crypt holds the human remains of possibly 4,000 people, including shelves and shelves of skulls, stacks and stacks of bones, human hair and teeth. For decades, experts have argued about who and why these bones were placed in this crypt. Were they the victims of the Black Plague? If that were so, who would dare risk their lives collecting the contaminated bodies? And surely they would have been put in quicklime and destroyed anyway. Another theory that has been circulating for centuries is that perhaps they were the victims of a battle. But that has been largely disproved as well, since a higher proportion of the bones belong to women. Some of the skulls do show signs that the victims were possibly attacked with sharp weapons though, but only a few. It's generally accepted that the human remains were dug up over a long period of time when the church was extended and it was considered more respectful for them to be stored in the crypts. But of course they didn't know how old the bones were when they dug them up at the time. And so it is possible that some of these bones date back to Anglo-Saxon times or even Roman times since it is believed there was an Anglo-Saxon church prior to the Norman invasion and there was also a Roman port nearby and many of the skulls have dimensions consistent with those of Roman origin. Although tourists come from miles and miles around to see this strange spectacle, it was even more popular in medieval times as a tourist destination. It is thought that gruesome tales associated with human remains may have encouraged pilgrims to part with their cash on their way to Canterbury Cathedral up the road. So all in all a very interesting English church steeped in history. Thanks for watching. Now you've seen the scariest church in England you might want to check out my mini series of the strangest place in England. Please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of the earliest movie trade cards in the world on my channel. Thanks for watching.